As we can see here, he's almost done, and this is actually a significant difference. <laughs> All right guys, today we're gonna unbox the FreeScan Combo Plus. Now in case you're wondering, this is the latest version of the FreeScan Combo, including double the laser lines at 50 laser lines, which supposedly will give us faster scanning. It'll pick up data a lot faster than the original FreeScan Combo. Now this is kind of hard for me to believe because the FreeScan Combo is my personal favorite of the entire Shining 3D lineup. And it's frankly just been an amazing scanner. So to have the Plus in here, promising more speed is really cool. So today we're just gonna unbox it, show you everything that you're gonna get in the box when you purchase it at visionminer.com. And if you wanna see all the scanners in our lineup, you can go visionminer.com slash scanners and see them all. This is how we make our living, so we really do appreciate when you purchase from us as we make all this content to show you and inform you on exactly what you're gonna buy before you buy, because you wanna make sure you're getting the right equipment. On that note, give us a call or shoot us an email if you still need more information. We're always here to help you pick the right equipment for your business. So on that note, let's get into the unboxing. So it comes in a standard thick cardboard box, little foam on top, and of course the hard case. Very nice. All right, so the only difference on here is the logo, uh, but let's open her up and see what else has changed. All right, so on the very top, you've got a block envelope with a quick start guide. Now this will show you everything that comes in the box, as well as how to set everything up the first time, operating temperatures, things like that. And of course, if you want more information, we got a lot of tutorials on our YouTube. So youtube.com slash visionminer, and we go through all the workflows and tutorials and everything on how to use these scanners. So quick start guide, very good to have. And next we have the calibration certificate, which just tells you when it was calibrated, where and how. So you know you're getting the most accurate scans. And then of course we've got power cables. Now this comes with two power cables and a power box. So right here we've got the data and power cables. So you've got USB here and the little power capsule that connects to the bottom of the scanner here. And the power cable that actually goes into the wall is gonna connect into the power adapter, which then plugs into the data cable. Next in here, we have two different USB drives. Now this is the dongle that you'll have attached to the computer whenever you're using the scanner. And then we've got another USB dongle with some software, some guides, et cetera, included on there. Version of the software, et cetera. And if you want the latest version of the software, check out visionminer.com. We should have a link on the product page somewhere to that. Next, we've got the actual scanner itself, but I'll put that to the side for now and see what's underneath all this other stuff. So we've got a nice foam cutout. Very well done, everything fits very snug. And underneath that we have the calibration board. Now this is a glass plate with white and marker set on it that you use, use to calibrate the scanner. Every few weeks or so, the software will tell you to recalibrate just to make sure everything's nice and in spec. It takes about two to three minutes. You just hold the scanner and go like that. It makes it really, really easy. And that's all that's in the bottom of the box. So let's put this back in there. And then in the top of the box, we've got a cool feature here. Firstly, of course, you've got the markers and it comes with three millimeter small markers, several thousand of them, as well as additionally inside a nice wrist strap. Now this is not a cheap scanner, it's an expensive tool that's used for measurements. You wanna make sure you don't drop it, then you might have to send it in for repair or something like that. On that note, it's very rare. These scanners are extremely reliable. Usually uh, the only issues we see with them are having to update drivers or something like that on your PC. On the note of the PC, you do need a PC on Windows with an NVIDIA graphics card to run any of the Shining 3D scanners. The reason for this is they based all their code on the CUDA cores that are included on those graphics cards. So if you don't have a computer with an NVIDIA graphics card, you will need one to run these scanners. Now, it's not an issue, most people already do, and a relatively cheap, several-year-old gaming laptop is all you really need to run these scanners. 
If you want more information on the PC specs for the scanners, we have an entire video on that, which should uh, link somewhere, or you can search on our YouTube channel, and we go over all the details in regards to what you need, how powerful of a system do you need to actually scan. Next inside here, we of course also have a marker removal tool. This is just basically a plastic scraper, makes it easy to get markers off whatever object you put them on. And of course, the three millimeter scanners. Now, it comes with two different sizes of markers. The three millimeter being the smaller of the two for smaller objects, more highly detailed objects, things like that, as well as six millimeter markers. Uh, it comes with about 1,500 of each, so you got plenty of markers to start going. And if you need more, we do sell those at visionbiter.com. So just reach out, hit us up, we've got everything you might need. And uh, so you got plenty of markers for any scanning projects that you might have. And one more cool feature about the case is this backplate Velcros in. So if you have little bags or other accessories and tools that you want to have in your field kit, you can do that here with any kind of Velcro. So very nice little feature right there. So now that we went through all the contents of the box, let's look at the scanner itself. Once again, machined aluminum. Nice blue color, looks like something out of Star Wars. The only differences I really notice on this are that the lenses on each side have a gold sheen on them now, whereas on the previous, you know what? Let's just grab the original pre-scan combo and give you a head-to-head -head comparison. So, this is the original free-scan combo, and this is the free-scan combo plus. As you can tell, they are practically identical, aside from the combo plus logo on the top of the scanner, and of course the serial numbers and all that sort of stuff. So if we compare both of these, I'm noticing that the lenses are a bit smaller and have a gold sheen on them here. They also have more of a, a round sort of shape, so maybe it's a different angle and the laser sensors on the inside center part here are also slightly different in the lenses that are behind that front casing. Uh, other than that, it's hard to tell. It might be a slightly different color. It looks like anodized aluminum. On the back, they're exactly the same. And the sides as well as the bottom. As you can see, it does use the exact same connectors, uh, which are also shared by the H2, the HX, and some of the other scanners in the lineup, like the FreeScan Trio. But other than that, these are exactly the same. So really, it comes down to performance. So it really comes down to how much faster is the Combo Plus? So they look the same, but what's the real difference on the inside? The biggest difference, and Basically, the only difference is the new FreeScan Combo Plus has 50 laser lines compared to the old 26 cross laser lines, meaning you get, instead of 1.8 million points per second, you're getting closer to 3.6 million points per second. So on paper, it's definitely faster. They both weigh approximately 620 grams, so same exact weight. Uh, you also have the different laser modes, so you get seven lines mode for fine detail and single laser line mode for sniping data or going down holes that are more difficult to capture. And of course you get the spectacular infrared scanning ability, which doesn't need markers most of the time. It just goes based on geometry. And that's great for anything from people to larger objects or anything with a lot of geometry where you won't have to place markers to achieve tracking with the scanner. So basically the same, you're really looking at more points per second, more laser lines, which gives you faster data capture. Now in the real world, how does this actually play out? We had to know, we had to see, so we had Kyle run a direct head-to-head -head test, and we're gonna run that footage now. So as you can see, he's basically just moving along as soon as that area is blue, and everything is turning blue, which means you have dense data on the free scan combo much faster. As we can see here, he's almost done, and this is actually a significant difference. So here we are at about 30 seconds or so. The FreeScan Combo Plus is done scanning the 22 IDEX 3D printer. 
and the FreeScan original is still going. Now, that just gives me a second to mention, we also specialize in high temperature 3D printers for engineering materials. Everything from nylons and carbon fiber infused polymers to peak and ultim and high temp aerospace medical grade materials. So if you're interested in 3D printers, definitely hit us up. Okay, so now both scanners complete, but as you can tell, if you're doing a lot of scanning in a business and this saves you literally half the time, then this would make a big difference. If you only got a couple scanning projects, frankly, you could probably save the money and just go with your original free scan combo. But again, we sell the businesses where time is money. If you can get more projects done faster, it's probably worth the extra cash to go for the free scan combo plus. All right, so if you have any questions about what scanner should you buy, it is very specific to the application. Different scanners work for different things. So one of the big things we do here at Vision Miner is we consult. If you call us or email us, we'll actually help you pick the right technology for your project. And then when you have the scanner, we fully support everything we sell. So if you bought it from us and you're having any kind of trouble, you can give us a call or shoot us an email. We've got tips, tricks, techniques, and we also support it. So if you break it or something, we handle the whole process for you. We make it super easy so you never have to reach out overseas or do anything else like that. Now, one of the big things about repairs for these, if you do happen to drop it, which is pretty much the only thing that goes wrong with them, uh, is a lot of that's done at the San Francisco headquarters. It's very rare that we have to send anything to the original factory, but again, if you buy it through us, we make the whole process real easy. And in the first place, you gotta make sure you get the right scanner. So give us a call or shoot us an email. We're always here to help. On that note, stay tuned for a lot more scanning projects with this Combo Plus. We'll be running it through its paces and getting the best workflows on our channel. So make sure you subscribe and you see when those videos come out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.